with Mr. Tinker Train, Zach Wild on guitar. Probably one of my favorite songs was Zach as I was listening to it um, in the chorus. I'm hearing a little bit of Eddie Van Halen influence, man, like Jamie's Crying. It may just be me, but it's a kind of a different, uh, I don't know, for Zach, a little different approach. Of course, this is way back in the day. Killer song, tuning is flat, and um, section 141 seconds coming in. CBT lesson for Alan, by the way. Great song choice, Alan. Two on the A and D string barred, hammered a 4D. It's almost like playing Paranoid, right? Except Paranoid's up here. Actually, technically, it's here. So you're gonna do that three times. And then palm mute the rest of this. The A string open twice. And then fourth fret on the E, just go four, three, two, one, open. And do that four times. So one time is this. All right, and then section two comes in at 56 seconds in. Killer groove right here. You're gonna go E5 power chord, open E, 2A. Palm mute the three E. Do it again. And then, let's see. Then palm mute, down up, three open on the E. Let's make a quick adjustment on that. Um, that's gonna lead you into a D chord. Open A, open D. 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B, okay, down up, um, you're going to strum those, short rest, hit it again, transfer from there to an A major, open A, 2nd fret D and G, so, or, um, actually no, 3rd fret E, bend, it's a whole step, to an A5 power chord, open A, 2, D. You can do that twice. Pinch harmonic, 3, E, vibrato. Double dots, you'll go back, start it over, second time, no star, that'll take you here. And then uh, 3, E, pull off to open, and then palm mute, down, up, open, E. 14, G, 15, B, hit them both, bend the G, whole step, vibrato. All right, and then um, you'll see a, a minute four. It'll, it says section one two times, second time end on the A chord. So you're gonna basically do that all again, but the second time you'll be ending it with. All right, and then um, the clean channel, section two, three pull off to open on the E, and then open E, second fret A and D. Open D, 2G, 3B, that's our D chord. Right back to the E. Do that again, but go to an A chord. Open A, 2nd fret, D and G. D to E. D, with the A string in it. A, open A, 2nd fret, D and G. So let me play that. Section 3, a minute 29 in. It's an E5 power chord, open E, 2A, followed by palm muting. It'll go. All right, let's break that down. That's the first half of the section. So the E power chord, and then you're going to palm mute it. One, two, three, three times, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three. One. So 9, 10, 11, 12 times on the palm muting. The D chord twice. Open D, 2G, 3B. Right back to the E chord six times. 
palm mute the last four of those. Back to the D chord, to an A5 power chord. Open A2 D, you're gonna go um, six times, palm mute the last four. Back to the D chord, D chord twice. So playing it is gonna sound like this. There's an overdubbed guitar here. <clears throat> I kind of blended them, it sounds nice. 7A, 9D, 9G, open B and E, go down, up, down. 5D or 5A, 4D, open G, 5B. It's a hold, so leave everything down. Rest and then G, D, G. 4A, barred 2nd fret, D, G, and B. Just pick them in that order. So you have... And then... Pick straight. Back to section 1, two times in. Then, it modulates up a whole step. Section 4, a minute 52 in, barred 4th fret, A and D. Hammer to 6D. Do that three times. Everything's modulated, okay? Um, then you'll go 7th fret, this is all on the E string, low E. 7th fret twice, and then palm mute, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Alright, um, on that second time, you do it three times on the paranoid chord, and then you go... Two A four D to an open A palm muted um, two times and then the, the power chord again. To an open D and G string. Turning the wrong one. So you'll go, you'll go, fourth fret A and D after that. Two minutes in, we have some repeats, um, just follow your tab sheets. Two minutes, 13 seconds in, A5 power chord, open A, 2D, six times, palm mute the first three, and then bend the third fret E, and then the A5 power chord once. So, section five. Clean channel. This comes in at 2 minutes 19 seconds. It's that D chord we were using. Open D, 2G, 3B. Open E, 2A twice. Let it ring. And then, let's see. Second fret D and G barred. Slide to 3, slide to 2. And then open D and G. 2 D and G. Pull off to open D and G. Bend the three E, so it's. Oops. Then a bunch of repeats till the three minute twenty three second time stamp, and it's just the A five power chord again. This time it's seven times, palm muting the first three. Pre solo, this is clean. Love this. Reminds me of like tonight or something. This has a Randy Rhodes kind of feel to it. Um, you're gonna go nine or. Uh, 9D, 8G, open B and E. Then the 7th and 6th fret, open B, back to the 6G. So it's... Then go 6D, 4G, and 7B. And then 5D, 6G, open B. And some of those are holds, right? So... Two times, and then you'll hear this is all like pre solo stuff. 4B, 3 minutes 41 seconds, kick the distortion on, hit it again, hammer to 5, back to 4, 6, 4G, 6G, 
half step in, hold, pick, release, and then start it, uh, go back to 4G and then start it over. 6G, you're gonna do like six half step bend releases. Okay, so that whole part. Picks great 357, and then the solo. It's a great solo that Zach does, man. 14G bend, 15B. You're gonna do that six times. I'm gonna go third and fourth finger, but it's possible he's using middle and third. I've seen him do both. It'll be uh, six times, you go. Right? One time is times six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then do it again, but hit them both. Bend the 14, release it, pull off to 12. 15B, bend vibrato. Okay, a Zach riff here that he's very fast at. 12E, down, and then you're gonna go, just think pentatonic. Alternate pick, down, up, from here on. 15, 12, 15, 12 on the B, and then 15, 12 on the B, down, up. Four times. You can bar that 12 as long as it doesn't ring two notes at once, so. All right, uh, 15 E bend, and then half step. 12, 15, 12, E, B, E, slide. So. 406 time stamp, 11 G. Half step bend release, pull off to nine. 11, nine D, G, vibrato. Do it again with a whole step bend. So it's. Top of page four, 14G, we're gonna do the same thing, whole step, bend, release, pull to 12. 14, 12, DG. And then do that two times. Second time, we'll bar the 12th fret, G and B on the end, vibrato, so. 19B, we're gonna bend it. And then 19E, and that'll be four times. 19B bend, 411 time stamp, 19 high E, bend, rele bend, hold, release, do that on the E and the B. 17B slide, so. 10B, bend, vibrato, and then, this is important, Alan, that you pick this way, upstroke the 7E, down up, 107B, 10B bend down two times. So it's. Um, so. Two of those. And then 7E, 107B, that's the same. But it ended on a 9G bend. And then rest, 7 high E. 9G, bend, release, pull to 7. 9 on the D, G, D, down, up, down. Use it as a shift, okay? Like that. Don't lift it off the string, because it's quick. And then 7G. 9, 7D. 10B, bend, vibrato. 7E, 10, 7, 10B, bend, vibrato. So that's kind of familiar, right? Then repeat it, go 7E, 10, 7B, 11 high E half step bend. I thought that was pretty cool. Oops. And then 11, 7. So 10 E half step bend, 7, 10 E, B, bend. My brother. 420 time stamp, 12 on the high E, bend, then a half step bend, 9E, 12B, up down, bend vibrato. So it's 
9E, follow the picking. 12 pull 9B, 11G bend. 9BE. 11 on the G, bend release pull to 9. 11 DGD, just like earlier. Use the third finger as a shift. And then 9 11 G bend. So you have. Twelve B, it's a hold. Do that twice, and then hit them both. Bend the eleven. Actually, no. Check it out. Bend twelve B, then the double dot start. You hit them both. Bend twelve B, and again. So you have, and then hit them again. That'll be three times, and then after the third time. Then release the 11G with the 12B to 9G. 17 high E, bend, vibrato. 15 on the high E, barred. And then 17 on the E twice, bend. 15, 17 EB, vibrato. So you have 15B, I'd use middle finger. 16G, slide to 14. And then 12th fret, G and B. So you have. Two times. And then 13, 12, 